man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The Jezzies are back at it again. Man. Jade of the Jezebel, Pinkette, is back at it again. Guys, if she is not a Jezebel, as I make videos on on this channel, then I don't know what is. <clears throat> the way this whole situation went down, I guarantee you, 90, probably 8% of you have seen, maybe even 99% of you, there might be 1% of you that have not seen the Will Smith situation. And if you look closely, if you see other videos that was made, regarding this topic. What you will see is Will Smith laughing at the joke that was made. Looking over, seeing his Jezebel of a wife, not so happy about the joke that was made, and then his attitude switched. The Jezebel got to Will Smith. That's what happened. I really don't believe that man has it in him to do what he really did if it was just at a, his hands. But this man got a Jezebel of a wife. Jada the Jezebel is her new nickname. So if you guys want to mention her name, make sure you say Jada the Jezebel. Pinkette, Smith, whatever last name you want to, you want to give this Jezebel. But it is the truth. He would have never done what he done if it wasn't for his Jezebel of, of, of a wife. He felt that energy of the Jezebel beside him. And something triggered his mindset to not be himself, to go and do what he did on the biggest stage. <clears throat> That's the power that I try to preach on this channel that the Jezebel spirit has. The Jezebel spirit will take the nicest, most down-to-earth person and turn them into the most wickedest person. That's the power of the Jezebel. That's the power of the devil. The whole world, as we speak, is clowning Will Smith. The biggest names in the industries right now is clowning Will Smith. Joe Rogan clown Will Smith. The biggest YouTubers are clowning Will Smith. Candace Owens is clowning Will Smith. The whole world is going against Will Smith. I'm going to tell you guys what I would do if I was Mr. Smith. I would literally come out with a statement, first and foremost. And I would say, you know what, guys? I apologize to say it short. He could say whatever he wanted, but apologize. And then say, you know what? I'm only starting to realize now how toxic my Jezebel of a wife really is. I'm divorcing her ass. I want nothing to do with her. She has turned me into this person. I'm not going to make any more excuses, but I am going to divorce her, get away from her, and fix myself, and come back to her because I realize that she is a Jezebel. She is part of the devil's kingdom. So, I'm going to come back to who I am again. I'm going to divorce Jada, the Jezebel, and carry on myself, and you'll never see this type of behavior from me ever again. If I was Will Smith, this is exactly what I would do. And I'm not even joking. Because the whole damn world, I don't know if I'll go as far as hates this man, 
but majority of the world strongly dislikes this man right now. And as we all know, if you have any brains at all, he really doesn't have it in him naturally. It's not his natural character. That's not who he is. It's not who he ever was. People saying, oh, Will Smith is showing his true colors. He may have showed true colors, but that's not his actual true colors. That is the work of Jada the Jezebel Pinkett. She has this man under control. She has this man's spirit. She is the most manipulative, cunning, evilest Jezebel you'll ever see. She is exposed to the whole world right now. And I don't know how other people are not seeing this. Some people are seeing this. Not everybody is. A lot of people are putting full blame on Will Smith. Which I understand. Because he's the one that got up and smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. Jada didn't do that, but guess what? Jada spiritually convinced him within seconds just from that energy force of the Jezebel to go and do what he did. So he takes blame for what her intentions really were. She wanted that. Will Smith felt that from his Jezebel of a wife. And he stood up and he did that. That's not his true character. That's not who he is. It's not who he ever was. And like I said, anybody with any, any bit of brains knows that that's true. I understand the situation. I do not think it's right whatsoever. I don't stand by Will Smith necessarily. I just feel bad for the dude, to be honest. Because <clears throat> his Jezebel of a wife has got his balls. She has got his ball sack. And it's sad to see, because he can't break it. And the fact that he has trilled children with this woman is the only damn reason why he's even staying that close to her because he doesn't want the whole family to be ruined he doesn't want his long lasting relationship with her to be ruined but if I was in his position man I could not care at that point about those things I would have to dip I could not stay in something like that and he is doing it and he's like abiding by her. He he has given her all of his power to the point where he's starting to do things that she really wants to happen but he's taking full blame by doing evil things that she naturally wants to do but will not do herself because she don't want to take the flag, she don't want to get in trouble. So he senses that and he goes and acts out of spite how she really would, but he is doing it. There's a spiritual thing going on with, these, with, the, with this couple right now. Whether you guys want to believe it or not, I see what's going on. Terry Joel Jr. sees what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. I've dealt with Jezebels. I know what this bitch is. And she is the prime example of a Jezebel. facts so <clears throat> man it took me a little bit to realize what really went on here I had to watch a few videos I had to see certain things at first I was on everybody else's train being like yeah Will Smith is the biggest simp beta male man John motherfucker ever but to be honest, that was the work of the Jezebel. What he did was very simp-like behavior. But this was from the Jezebel, bro. It really was. He was fine with what was said. It was a mild joke. It was not even an insult. It was a very mild joke. You have a comedian on stage 
being paid to roast people. You don't get up and smack a comedian for a mild joke towards your wife, towards your ratchet, head case of a wife or not. That's what was going on. That was the biggest mistake of Will Smith's life. He never made a bigger mistake than he just made. Thanks to the Jezebel, thanks to Jada the Jezebel Pinkett, that's what happened. So, if I'm Will Smith, I'm divorcing this bitch at this point because he's got to really look in the mirror and say, wow, what have I become? What is going on here? Why, why is this happening? Why did I do this? I guarantee you he's asking these questions to himself. He's not coming out and saying these things. I think he actually apologized, but I guarantee you he's not saying these things. But deep down he's thinking that. What is happening to me? Why did I behave like that? Why did I do that? Brother. It's your Jezebel of a wife. Cut her hairless ass loose. Seriously. There's so many videos out right now on this topic. I wasn't even going to make one. But now that I realize this is what's going on, I got to make one. And I had to explain what I just explained. Because this is what's really going on. I wish I could be put on the biggest podcast in the world. I wish I could be put on the biggest platform in the world and let the world know this because so much of the world would see this truth and it would help a lot of the world Jada would be screwed if my information got out there to the whole world and everyone heard this Jada would be screwed I guarantee it and a lot of other Jezebels in the world would be as well this is the stuff that needs to hit mainstream, but it's not gonna, unfortunately. This is the stuff that needs to get out there. If you don't like this video, you are, part, you are a part of the cult. You are a part of the devil, I don't care what you say. And share this video as well. Because any videos on this situation was not explained this way. But this is the true reality of what happened. I'm not saying other videos ain't right too. A lot of people said a lot of things that makes a lot of sense and is true as well. But this is the real reasoning behind why he did what he did. And you can't necessarily use a Jezebel as an excuse to go and do what you did. But what you gotta do is take accountability that you are very off right now as a human being because of a Jezebel so you have to cut this Jezebel loose so you can heal so you can get your shit together because this so called woman Jada the Jezebel has caused Will to have so many demons right now that it's not even funny this man got demons right now Thanks to her. Thanks, Jada. Jada the Jezebel. Thanks. Look what you did to Will fucking Smith. You stupid ratchet bimbo head case. You hairless pest. This is all your fault. And you know what? There's a small percentage of a fault in Will Smith for even staying with your stupid ass as well. So it might not be 100% your fault. A big part of it's your fault. A part of it is Will Smith's fault as well for being that stupid to stay with a ratchet bimbo head case like yourself. You had Jezebel of a wife. You put me in his position, your ass would've been gone. The second you did anything negative to me, she cheated. I don't know if you guys seen that. She cheated on Will Smith and told him that live on 
a podcast, live on interview. It's it's all over the internet. Will Smith really doesn't bat an eye, and he's fine with it. That is fucked. What has Jada done to Will Smith? She must have casted some some spell or some type of curse on this man. I don't know what's going on. But right now, he is not the same as he once was. And for those of you that don't know this, <clears throat> when you are in relationships with a Jezebel spirit, it gets worse over time. So it might not be so dark in the beginning. Things might not look so bad. As the years go on, it gets terrible. It gets very bad. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing what this 20 year relationship, I think it's 20 years, correct me if I'm wrong. It could be a little less, it could be a little more, but I think it's around 20 years. This is what starts to show up 20 years later after you're with a Jezebel. The reason why this is being exposed the way it is is because they are so famous it's not even funny. Very famous people. This happens daily to people who are not famous. Just random couples in the world. One happens to be with a Jezebel. I've talked to people in phone calls through this channel consultations who had 20 year relationships with a Jezebel and it got cut off. They were telling me how they wasted so much of their life. They're like 40 years old now plus. They wasted a marriage. They wasted all their years on this person and now it's done and they lost everything and all this stuff. This is what happens. That's what we're seeing and that's what we're witnessing right now with Will Smith. His sanity has like left him at this point. He's making very, very, very bad decisions because of his Jezebel of a wife. That is what we're seeing unfold right now. And you guys don't have to believe this. You guys can give a different excuse, but I know for a fact this is what's happening right now. I know for a fact, and you guys know what a fact is? It's factual truth. This is not my opinion. This is literally what is happening right now. And you're almost not going to hear anyone else say this the way I've just said it. But this is what's happening. So. I hope this video can make people see a little bit more clearly. If you are dealing with a Jezebel in the near future. Right now. You have in the past. It should make you realize what's going on. Because <clears throat> your power will leave you. You will give them all the power. They will have you by the scrotum. And you will start making decisions that is not in your best interest. And guys, I've been there before. I was going to show up somewhere and literally obliterate some guy. Because so-called he was at my girlfriend at the time's place. But it wasn't even true. But I drove an hour and a half. And I got in that place. And I kept my shoes on and I marched around that house and I was just yelling, where is this guy? And nobody was there. And I felt stupid. As soon as it was done. I just felt normal. But this just goes to show what happens when you deal with a Jezebel. You're not in your right state of mind. You will act very weird. And I learned from that situation. I hope Will Smith can learn from this situation as well. To come back to who you really are and not make decisions based off of other people's poor behaviors because it's never the right choice. You can act like a wild man if someone like touches your wife, puts their hands on your wife, tries to molest or abuse your wife. Yes, you can rage, you can beat the living shit out of, a, out of a man. But if your wife or your girlfriend or whatever does something to somebody else, and you 
put a beating on somebody else because she did something first. That's not the right decision. You have to cut that person off and not harm somebody else. I'm going to tell you guys something else. A very mature situation that happened on my end as well. And this was actually shortly after the mistake I made that I just explained. Weeks after, <clears throat> me and a person I was with, we end it, right? And we end it in a very immature way on her end. And I just let it be. I just let her go. I didn't fight it. Okay. That's what you want to do. Okay. And I seen her a couple weeks later, me and a few friends, and I was 19, at the, or I was 20 at this time. We went to this club, probably the most popular club where I come from, in the summertime. A nightclub in the summertime, there's like a, a patio balcony on top, there's a lower, there's a lower bottom floor, there's different floors everywhere. It's a pretty sick spot, but she just so happened to be there. I was there. She took some random guy. And she took him and she was trying looking around, trying to find me. It's exactly what she did. And she walked up to me with this guy right beside me, literally almost touching me. And she started making out with this dude. This was when a couple weeks, it was a couple weeks time we ended up before this. But that's what she did. She came up to me, started making out with this guy right beside me. And if I wasn't in my right state of mind, I may have pummeled this dude. But I was in my right state of mind. I didn't flinch. I didn't think nothing of it. The only thing I thought was, wow, this bitch is really trying her hardest right now to make something dramatic happen. It was the most unattractive thing I've ever seen in my life. And her plan backfired in her face. She did what she did. A couple of my friends were like, Kill that guy, Joel, because they knew I was just with this girl. They knew that. They knew what happened. They also seen what happened. And <clears throat> I looked at my friends. I was like, nah, man, no. Nah. This guy, he does not even know what's going on, man. Like, if, if I was to pummel this guy, I'd feel so bad because he had no idea what was going on. This was a random dude. I don't know who it was. He wasn't from my hometown. He was from somewhere else. But if I was to pummel this dude, I'm doing what she wants me to do. She tried to set me up and she used this guy to try to set him up as well. She quite, she quite possibly could have got his ass beat. That's what Jezebels do, bro. They make you act at a character. They make you mad. They make you not in your right state of mind. They stir the pot. It's exactly what Jada is. That's what happened with Will Smith. Will Smith acted out of spite. He did what he did on the biggest stage of the world, arguably. I was in a low down spot and I didn't do nothing. I did the right thing. I didn't even walk away. I, I kept standing there like, wow, this is very unattractive. This is cringe. Like, this girl is toast. And it was the last time I was ever with this girl. Guess who tries to come back years later? Fuck no. You think I'm ever going to take a Jezebel back? Once I see her true colors, it's, it's a wrap. It's done. Done forever. And that's exactly what it was. So... <clears throat> crazy shit Jezebels are very crazy which is why I make some videos on that subject here and there they are nuts and they will drive you nuts if you try to make something work with a Jezebel that's when they will drive you nuts when you want them when you want to engage with them when, when you're trying to make something work with them it has to be their way 
they're manipulators, they're going to get you. And their leadership is just for Satan. There's leaderships for positivity. There's leaderships for the good. There's leaderships for Satan. There's leaderships for the bad. There's two different things here. That's what they do. It has to be their way. They can't be led. They can't be led into the good because they're so fucking evil. And that's what it comes down to. So, I've explained this video to a T. I even gave you guys an example on my end of something that happened and how I came out with the W. Will Smith took a huge L. If I was him, like I said, I'd come out and I would say, look, that is, like, I don't know why I did that. Actually, I do know why I did that because of my Jezebel of a wife. I'm going to divorce her bitch ass. And I'm going to, you know, fix myself. I'm going to do the necessary things and I'm going to come back to the real Will Smith. I don't necessarily like people saying, wow, Will Smith showed his true colors and all this. It's true, but it's not at the same time. Because they don't understand into depth, like I do, what's going on. At the time, yes, those are his true colors, which is terrible. But he needs to change his true colors to come back to what his true colors originally are, which is Will Smith. Leave Jada the fuck alone. Get on with your life. Leave her ass in some desert. Do whatever you gotta do. Take a trip with her and just leave her and never, ever, ever look or return to her ever again. Set her bitch ass up. Just get away from her. It's what he has to do, man. And I don't mean literally set her up, I'm kinda joking with that, but leave her ass, bro. Leave her ass alone. It's only getting worse for him. And it's showing the more he wants to stick with her through all the things that she's done. You know what her excuse was for cheating? This is her exact words. I wanted to feel good again. And I am literally Im impersonating exactly what she did. She took her hands and she touched her chest. She's like, I wanted to feel good again. I needed that. I needed to feel good again. Is that right, bitch? Your ass is for the streets. Go feel good all you want. Will Smith, you are a dumbass for accepting that behavior. That does make you a beta male simp man, John, motherfucker. You should never accept that type of shit. He's got a lot of learning to do, man. He's going to look back on his life. At some point, I guarantee it. And know how wrong he went in life with his past history with Jada the Jezebel Pinkett. And that's all I gotta say in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this take. I hope you guys can take lots from this video. Remember, don't forget to like, share this video, do whatever you gotta do, get this video the hell out there. I'll be back with another fresh topic. <clears throat>